In this video, I'm going to show you where your exponent buttons are and how to change them and use them. So first, I'm going to show you some that are on your calculator faceplate or this right here. Um, one is this button right here, this x squared. Anytime you press this button, it will square either whatever you press before. So right now it says answer squared. So had I had something in there, it would square it. If I press enter right now, it'll say zero because I didn't have anything in there. But let's say I actually press something and then I square it. It will give me what is five squared. <clears throat> With that, let's say I go back and I press 5 squared. If I scroll to the left, it will put me up in the exponent um, place. And I can, while it's highlighted, I can change it to whatever number I want. To include negative numbers as well. So I'm going to clear that out because I don't want that. Another way to use your exponents or to have an exponent is, let's say I press a number and I want, I'm going to use this caret, that's what I'm going to call it, um, hi-hat, the arrow, it puts it in the exponents place, so however you wish to name this. So I can use this and also put whatever number I want in for my exponent, whether that be a positive number or a negative number. I'm going to press enter for this one. The other way you can find an exponent or find the exponent button is let's say I want to use 6 as my base now. If I go into math, there's a small 3 at this number 3. This is the exponent to the third power, or you're cubing something. So I could press 3, scroll down to the number 3, or press just the number 3, and it would give me that exponent of 3. And just like with the caret or with the x squared button, I can go up to the left, I'm sorry, I could press the left button, it would put me in the exponent place, and I could change this to whatever I want. If you forget those, you could always go into catalog. And where your symbols are, they have the little um, caret that you see here. They also have exponent of 2, exponent of negative 1. I'm not sure what that one is. But you could use those and still change it. Or let's say it was negative and I wanted it to be positive, I can delete the negative. Now, this is a big number because it's saying my answer or the last answer I got, which was 36, and it's taking it to the 8th power. So that's why that number is so big. But you can do that in any of those different ways.